Hey guys, today another strife lane in seven point three. So what we have here is um this node has Thunderstruck, Redouble Determination, Shock Vulnerability, and Debuff Immune on knockdown. So with Thunderstruck, obviously is debuff immune playing into that and redoubled forcing you to really not want debuffs. Someone with passive shocks is going to be best here. Um uh, the only two I'm aware of that have passive shocks readily available are Silver Centurion and Strife. Um, and yeah, Strife is a fantastic option for this lane, as you will see. Um, there is a couple fights he struggles with. The first fight um, being that Strife on the first note. I decided to just use a Torch pre-fight there instead of bothering with Strife. And then there is a Psycho Man later on. That is definitely a little bit of a difficult fight. I ended up using Strife for it anyway, but there is quite a bit to pay attention to there. And yeah, Strife's just going to absolutely dominate this lane. Very fun lane. G99 already dead with an unramped Strife. We again have synergies here between White Mags, Hood, and Cable. Since Strife works so well for this lane, you can kind of just use Strife for pretty much the whole thing. And you can spare those synergy slots. And just have a really fun lane here. And I decided to use White Mag's pre-fights on Psycho Man, Punisher, and G99. Punisher and G99 because Strife is going to be unramped. And I thought maybe the ramp will help on these two. Um, and then Dragon Man, I was thinking, well, that's just free willpower. So no need there. And on Mr. Negative, you don't want to parry. So no use for the White Mag's pre-fight there. So, yeah. That was my thought process going into this lane, and again, I will just let you guys watch this until the Psycho Man, and then I will give some added commentary as to why Psycho Man was difficult, but the rest of the fights are pretty simple, so I think you guys should just watch that for yourself and see what happens.
See, now, um, on this Psycho Man, the main difficulty is his concussion. And with this concussion, it can do a few things. It can fail your shock refresh, which is the main thing. And, of course, it can fail your parries if it's the block one. And it can stop you from getting a bunch of things. So the main thing you want to do is just pay attention to when that concussion is up. I do kind of a poor job of managing this. But Strife handles the fight quite well regardless. And, yeah. Pretty good fight for Strife.